right, guys. Power Bricks here. We're going to be taking a look at the Dieter Eugen. Now, this is a secondary mech from the Kyoryu Sentai Q Ranger. If that's already a thing. I meant to say Kyoryu Sentai. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Kyoryu Min. Wow, that sounded very bad. But anyway, besides me screwing up on names that I make up because it's very late at night and I just want to crank these videos out. Here it is, and here we have the green Spinosaurus, the black Triceratops, and the purple Dodo. Yes, a Dodo. I didn't picture myself making a Dodo, but that's kind of what I wanted to make. Just something completely different that has never been brought to the table, and a purple Dodo is a excellent example of that. Now, let's just jump into this, guys, and I hope you're ready. So here is the big guy first, and he's primarily the same mode as a Tyrannosaurus Rex was just with slight modifications being that he has a smaller tail his head is much longer he has longer arms and a giant set of spines on his back along with cannons but being that it's the same mold which means that it is compatible with the other zord parts like the blue um diplosaurus and the pterodactyl is also compatible along with the kiwi and the triceratops also compatible with Kyoryu uh, and the auxiliary zords that are available that are not to be reviewed yet, but they will be dropped soon, guys. I promise you. So look out for those when they do drop. We have a total of, I believe, five auxiliary zords in total. Five. Yes, five. So just look out for that. And just going over his simple articulation, um, he has a lot. It's like the Tyrannosaurus Rex, but a little bit more. So we do have the head, which moves up and down. You can also rotate 360 degrees. Let's move the camera a little closer for you guys. So yeah, we get the mouth that opens up. And the head, you get the arms, which are on a ball joint. And it's on this turning point. I don't know what they took called. But they can um, move a little bit. Um, the legs, soft ratchet. And ball joint at the feet. Now, for this um, specific mold for the dinosaurs, if you guys remember, if you follow, if you've been following my videos for a long time, and you know about the um, Roar Ranger set and that line with the Nightmare Gen, this and the Tyrannosaurus were inspired by that exact same mold. Because I was thinking, like, I wanted to do something like Alba Ranger. Or Dino Thunder, but I was like, nah, let me try something a little different. And I tried to think of Mighty Morphin, but I didn't want to try that either. I wanted to save that kind of function for another Zord in the future. So I just thought, why not take the Dino Thunder element, sort of, and incorporate it into these. And that's kind of what I did. And another thing is, um, from now on, I won't be taking any more recommendation builds or request builds. Because that's just too much work. I have way too many people asking me for... A request build and if you have asked before and I told you I will do it I am gonna do those people that have only said yes to them. anybody from this point on in the future will not get a build and if you don't see this video which you most likely will then you know what I'm talking about it's just too much so um anyway back to the articulation you get the tail that wag side to side it can go up and down and it can rotate on a ratchet and that's Actually, primarily it. There isn't much more you're going to get out of this guy. Besides it being a giant green dinosaur that is articulated. Next is our Triceratops. And I think this is a really dope mod model. What am I saying? I almost called him a mod. This is a very dope model. Especially with the legs. The way I've gotten into my... Almost knocked over my camera. But the way I've gotten into the leg building is very, very different now. I've taken more time to just really function and really get a real transformation out of them instead of just making two giant bricks and just clocking them on and calling them legs as I used to do. But now I've become more creative, especially with this. Now you can obviously tell he's going to be legs because this is primarily the same mold as the original Kyoryu. Oh, but this is different in its own little way. And that being the Triceratops, first of all, this is the first difference. Now, I'm just going to move this turntable out of the way. 
and get a look at this guy. Really just nice. I love how he came out. It's a really nice Triceratops Zord. He has a full horn set up and just everything is nice. He is a brick. I will say that. You're going to get... Yeah, that was not supposed to happen. But, um... You can't get head articulation, just... It's not supposed to go that far back. Barely, really, actually. You barely get anything. More more of like a turn is what you can get. It's just supposed to be positioned down to hold everything in place. And you can get the front legs to move on a ball joint. But other than that, you're not going to get too much. But it's just, it is nice to look at on the shelf, I will say that. I do enjoy walking in my closet full of zords and just looking at this like, wow, that's a nice looking piece. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that and we're gonna move on to- Here is Dodo, which is a very nice design, especially it being via to the um, pterodactyl, I almost forgot the name. The pterodactyl, and it still is nice. All in all, I know you can see the zord face back there, which is a complete spoiler. My fault, I know I'm an idiot sometimes when it comes to building, but um, there it is. It is nice, and I do like these metallic gray Lego pieces. They look really nice on it. But yeah, Kiwi is just something that I thought of. I didn't want to make it a pterodactyl, nor did I want to make it a... some. I wanted to make it a prehistoric bird, but not from the same era that these dinosaurs are in. And if I'm correct, most of these dinosaurs are all from different eras, but... That doesn't mean anything. As long as it's prehistoric, we should be fine. Gosh, I'm feeling tongue-tied right now. Um, so yeah, just getting a little look at its face. Really nice. I like all that metallic on there. And I didn't realize. I I knew that this was these were metallic pieces, but I didn't realize they'd complement each other this nicely until I actually filmed which is now. So articulation, you do get a lot in the legs. You can position it certain ways, you know, just about any ways that you can because they are on ball joints, so you get more articulation than the ratchet joint you get. And for those who keep asking about the ratchet joints, eBay guys, just go on eBay and you can find them by the lot. They're really easy to find. But get them soon because the more and more I tell people, the more and more they get bought up. So go check it out. If you really are into Zord building and you just want to make some really dope Zords, that's what you do. And if you're also, people also ask me, how do I get them so big and thick? You just buy the big bricks. That's what I do. I buy the big bricks. I don't really buy the flat ones. I buy some flat ones when I need them. But all in all, I just buy the bigger bricks because they make a bigger Zord. And also, if you're if you're willing to save money and your um, pockets are kind of tight, you can also check out the your local Kmart. They have I don't know what kind of brand it's called, but their Legos are they're freaking legit. They're not Legos, but they're like it's like a knockoff Lego, but they're Good enough, they're a really, really, really good substitute. I mean, they're extremely cheap, and you get a lot for your money. And the quality is really good on them. They, they, they're just probably, I think they're a little bit better than the original Legos themselves because they hold together much tighter. And they, they, come, they come on good and they hold tight. They won't break, as, they won't fall apart as easily. And it's just a nice enough fit. And I really do like them. And they're really compatible with any other Lego brand. But, yeah, that's it for this Dodo bird. Um, let's get into this transformation. And that should be enough information for you guys to understand. You know, check out Kmart, eBay, Amazon, too, if you need to. And that should be it. And also, if you want to, check out your local thrift stores. They do have certain things that you might like. I do find certain pieces. I haven't bought any yet. I've seen a few. But it's, like, always ironic because each time I go to a thrift store to get a get some new pieces it's always like whatever i want to get from there i'm already having on the way shipped from ebay so yeah just check that out guys you know little fun little tips just to save you some money now the merging sequence so first we're going to pull off the tail open up the spines take this spine off take off his dino chip and put it right back here if i can get it lined up right there Take out the denim chip and put it there. 
Next, we're going to get his arms and fold them. Uh, if I can get it lined up, fit. Fold them up like so. So they just fit along these grooves. If you pos if I can position it right, I can get them to fit along these grooves. And you just close them in like that. And then fold down the spines, which are going to form the arms. In case you didn't know. So then get the legs. Oh, I'm thinking like it's a T-Rex. It's not even supposed to do that. His legs are just supposed to be completely flat open. And you'll see why soon. So like this. And we can get his little tail and drill. Because they form together to create this. You'll see the finished product. It's not the completed weapon until I use the Triceratops. So let's move on. Alrighty, for this first, we're just going to, we can take that off. But really, we're just going to take off the whole entire body. Take it all apart. We can put this back on. Now, this is one thing that I do feel ashamed about that I have no use for this anymore. <clears throat> Since it has been taken apart, I feel really bad that I don't really know what to do with it. Sit it to the side for the entire review. Now we can stand it up and also pull off the tail. And there are your legs. And this comes right back to the... <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is just really, really cloudy. It comes right back to the raptor. Ugh. The Spinosaurus. Gosh, why did, I, why did I just call that a raptor? I mean, really, I wanted to build a raptor, by the way, but I didn't. Because I didn't know how to incorporate that into this. But I have a good substitute. So, plug that in there and rotate the horns backwards. Next, we get the legs. And we're just going to plug these guys right on in there same here i can get it lined up quite well come on work with me work with me get in there there we go all right and then we're going to fold down these and they're going to act as like sort of drapes anyway you don't have like those shoguns or like warriors have those i don't know what they're called i just know what they look like Flaps, <laughs> flaps, um, yeah, that's kind of what I was going for. All right, anyway, we're just going to finish this weapon now. We're gonna get the spine and the tail of this, and this here, and if I can remember which side it goes on. There we go, right here. That is the weapon. And we can plug that into okay so now we're gonna plug this in later but this is this giant axe fork weapon i don't know what to call it but this is the weapon all right and since we have him primarily in all the way in resort mode we're not even gonna switch the scenes we're just gonna do it all no that sounded wrong but anyway um we're gonna pull this off well, let me redo that we're going to pull this piece off of Kiwi, which is obviously the head, and we're going to position the bird in some odd position first. Um, sort of just leave the legs open, and then bring them up and back, up and back, like so. And then if I'm doing that right, then we should be good. Um, let me connect it first, and then I can see if I'm doing this right or wrong. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's definitely wrong. All right, so, it just fits right on top of there. Okay, this is not cooperating. After the 30,000 times I've done this, it's not working. Weird. Maybe it's because I'm really tired. But, um, this is for you guys. I have to get this done because I need to move on to my next build. And sometimes, I just get, I just get annoyed looking at the same thing sometimes. Alright, um, paw. Okay, I had it on completely wrong. 
There it is, it's done correctly. Yay. All right, now let's put the head on. We just plop it on, open up the horns, and let's go into the 360. Now when he is complete, he looks very menacing, and he looks a lot like a Megatron. I always get this Megatron feel from him. And I know he probably gives you guys that same kind of feel, but he is really dope. And I do like it. I like the evil look of him. He definitely portrays as an evil Zord. And the inspiration for the green Spinosaurus and the red T-Rex was the Mighty Morphin with the green dragon and the red T-Rex. I have to give a little nostalgic Easter egg for that design. So yeah, um, guys, that's that. And we're just going to go over the articulation really fast so I can close up the video for you guys. So... He is heavy though, I will say that. He's picked up quite the pound, especially compared to his brother. Um, articulation, you get the 360 degrees. Sort of if you fidget it with these weapons, then yeah. But it all is primarily 360 degrees. And he just looks like a giant warrior. Especially this weapon, just look at that. Imagine being a Zord or a monster getting hit with that. That is not going to feel pleasant. It's going to hurt a lot. And this drill gun really looks like it's going to hurt. This magic is going to drill to death. Ugh. Ain't going to be pretty. Now we can compare him to his brother, which is the good guy. And here is the bad guy. Um, As I said, they look pretty damn cool together. And... You can limb swap. Let's try some limb swapping. Well, here they are limb swapped, and they still look pretty dope. I think that's cool. Um, This one, it doesn't look menacing, though. Neither does this. This looks like... Maybe the color setup for that made it look super evil. But with this color setup, it's more like they all just sort of combined together. Without the blue. It still looks cool, though. I really do like that. Um... You know, yeah, it's really odd. Definitely odd. Um, this would be more like all of them being combined rather than him being that. Um, you guys be the judge. I don't know. This was just a random food for thought. So t tell me what you guys think. And this is Power Break signing off.